Hey, this is Nick the Mining Book Guy. Today I've got a short fun one to present, Searching for El Dorado by Mark Herman. And this was neat because I hadn't heard of it. I kind of randomly came across it. I think very few people in the mining industry are aware of this book. Mark Herman is a journalist uh, from the U.S. He visited Venezuela and Guyana in the late 90s and early 2000s a few times. Most of the book is in, takes uh, place in Guyana, but there's Venezuelans who are prospectors, uh, mom-and-pop artisanal-type miners mixed in with Guyanese that are trying to you know, find gold. And there was a gold rush at the time, very similar to the California gold rush, or what might happen in other parts of South America or in Africa. So you really get that firsthand experience of what it's like to be in the middle of, of uh, you know, finding gold on your own. On the other hand, he also visited a large mine called the Omai Mine that was uh, run by a few Canadian companies at the time and had its own issues but is more representative of the typical you know large scale mine he he's comes from you know average person you know journalist background and i think he does a great job describing it it's really fun uh, you meet a lot of people along the way and uh, i think that's part of part of the value is that it's the type of experience all of us would want to uh, be a part of and and just as a side note it's interesting that venezuela at the time i think was better off than guiana Absolutely, the tables have, have uh, flipped. You know, no one really wants to be going to Venezuela these days. While Guyana is actually doing pretty well, better than I even expected. And I actually wish I paid more attention to this because I uh, I know that a couple mines in Guyana have done really well uh, over the last uh, year or so. And you know, maybe if I paid more attention to this book and related it to mining, uh, you know, over that last this last year, uh, I could have made a little more money. So just another example of picking up these small books. Sometimes you learn a few things, and who knows, maybe in the near future I'll speculate um, on some mines in, in Guyana. But again, great, short, fun read. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Again, this is Nick, the Mining Book Guy. Please like, share, and subscribe.